Digital Signal Processing. I'm Dr. Abdul Rahman Al Qawasmi from Bajma University. This is our first lecture. It will be an introduction uh, to digital signal processing. Uh, first of all, we will talk about discrete time signals and systems. As you know, discrete time signal can be represented as a summation from k equals minus infinity to infinity x of k which represents our discrete time signals multiplied by delta function which is shifted by k. What is the signal? As you know, in the fields of communications, signal processing and electrical engineering, more generally, a signal is any time varying or spatial varying quantity. So, it can be current, voltage, acoustic waveforms, light intensity across the focal plane of a camera. So, any source of information that is changing by time can be represented as uh, an electrical signal or other signals. We can call it as uh, a signal. Uh, what is the, a digital signal? A digital signal is a form of a signal which is discrete in time. And this signal after, after uh, a sampling will be quantized. So the final result is a digital signal which is, uh, uh, which, which is represents uh, digits or bits. So if we have a signal, a continuous time signal, and we make sampling, uh, and we will discuss the, the sampling theory. After that, we can uh, to, make, to have a discrete time signal. After that, the second stage is to quantize this signal in amplitude in order to have a digital signal. So uh, the discrete time signal cannot be considered as a digital signal. It is a discrete time signal. But after quantization, we will have pure digital signal. What is a digital signal processing? Digital signal processing concerned with the representation of signals as a sequence of numbers and with methods of processing those numbers to achieve some desired goal. As you know, digital signal processing is somehow like to make a processing for signals using the systems. We will have an input and we will have output. And we, uh, based on the, in the, in the, in this system, we will have uh, changes in the I will have a processing in our signal to have output from uh, input while we are doing processing for digital uh, signals uh, in order to have maybe for filtration, for multiplication, for integration, or any other uh, uh, processes. Uh, the digital signal processing applications, there are a lot of applications of digital signal processing. For example, for as a general purpose for digital signal processing, we have digital filtering, contribution, correlation, Helbert transform, and others. And for uh, applications in telecommunications, we have echo, uh, echo constellation, we have uh, analog digital conversion, we have pulse code modulation, we have line repeaters, and other applications uh, in telecommunications. Also, uh, the digital signal processing have. Uh, 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 wide applications in voice, email, speech recording, speech recognition, speaker verification, speech enhancement, speech synthesis, and text-to-speech. And there are some applications or a lot of applications in military regarding the secure communications, radar processing, sonar processing, image processing, navigation, missile guidance, and radio frequency modems. As you, modems, sorry. As you see, we have a lot of applications of digital signal uh, processing and all of these applications are important and they are in different fields and uh, can serve uh, specific purposes. Uh, what is the objectives of digital signal processing? As you know, we have a digital system. This We have X of N as a discrete time signal as input and we have Y of N as output. Uh, the digital system, of course, works with digits and we can say the X of N is an input as a digital signal. So our approach is uh, about description, analysis, and design of digital systems. How we can design digital systems? Uh, the design is important. We are designing uh, digital uh, processing systems in order uh, to have output based on the input and for specific purpose, as we said before. If we look at types of digital systems, we, we can see that uh, we can uh, classify our digital system by type or by analysis or by design. For types of digital signals, we can, uh, systems, we can 
uh, we can look at characterization and properties and for analysis we have to find responses to given inputs and for design of digital systems also which is uh, to make a design of specific systems uh, for example as a digital filters the digital signal processing why we need to make a digital signal processing uh, really uh, there is a high precision repeatability design may be simulated in software easy to modify an algorithm or system design uh, many operations difficult to implement in analog form are st straightforward using digital techniques uh, uh, this is uh, uh, they are uh, these are the benefits of using the digital signal processing comparing to uh, the continuous uh, uh, continuous signal uh, processing as if you if you know uh, because uh, for digital as you know we can work with the with the processors that can be uh, updated and improved using the software and the continuous time processors they are difficult to be updated and uh, they have a specific specific purposes or limited we can see uh, applications uh, before we beginning uh, studying uh, the digital signal processing techniques and design of course we will have an uh, introduction about discrete time signals a discrete signal is an index set of real or complex numbers x equals x of n n is a discrete time from minus infinity to infinity and it has nth of samples these samples they are a sequence of samples they have a, a, they, they have a <coughs> distance uh, equal distance between them we call the, the sampling interval and they have uh, amplitudes negative and positive amplitudes as you see in this in this figure and the sequence may be thought of as numbers stored in a computer array or as a list of numbers in a table uh, every sample can be converted as a bit for example if this is uh, eight levels we can it can be stored as three bits and so on so every sample is a digit, uh, represents a number of digits that can be stored in the computer and it is of course cannot be done with a continuous time signals uh, the discrete time signals First of all, to have a discrete time signals, we need to make a sampling. As you know, what is a sampling? The sampling process is to convert the continuous time signals uh, to uh, discrete time signals. Uh, uh, the, 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 the sources or the information sources can be speech, image, audio, radar, sonar. As you know, for example, as a speech signal, uh, the, uh, as you know, uh, that uh, the, the, the bandwidth is uh, up to 4 kilohertz so if we want to make a sampling using the sampling theory which states that the, the sampling rate should be uh, above the, the 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 double of the highest frequency in the speech signal and we have 8 uh, kilohertz or, or 8 kilo samples per second so we make uh, we will have a samples uh, which means every one second we will have 8,000 samples uh, this can be done of course by a device that we call uh, analog to digital conversion of course the analog to digital converters contains two main steps the first step is a sampling process as we discussed now and the second step is quantization so after sampling which means that x a of t is a continuous time signals and the output is x of n a discrete time signal should be quantized in order to have a, uh, to have a digital signals uh, signals may be inherently discrete time uh, and uh, this is uh, can be used for different uh, applications for, for example amortization population inventory and the stock prices uh, the discrete the famous or uh, the the basic discrete time signal that we know it is the impulse uh, sequence what we call also delta functions we have the unit step response and we have exponential sequence maybe with complex or real and we have a complex sequence sequence x of n x equals exponential j omega mod n so these four famous basic discrete time signals and they have uh, wide applications in digital signal processing 
and it can be uh, implemented uh, separately or together with other with other sequences. Uh, the discrete time signal systems uh, we are used in order to make uh, digital signal processing for discrete uh, time signals or for digital signals. So, uh, for example, the numerical algorithms for transforming an input sequence into an output sequence is the definition of a discrete time system. As an example, we have a different uh, discrete time signal systems. For example, delay, modulator, uh, square compressor smoother and so on they are all systems that we have input and we have output for example for the delay we have x of n minus n d n d is the delay in discrete time is is an input and the output always is y of n so every system will have different outputs based on the system itself and we will call it in the future is the 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 the, the impulse response or the transfer function of this system. Uh, the basic signal uh, manipulations. Of course, if we have discrete time signals, as you know, uh, we have to do some manipulations, which means we, can, we have to add to two discrete time signals or to multiply uh, two discrete, uh, uh, discrete time signals because maybe the sources, they are different. We have multiple sources. We have, we have one output maybe, and this uh, we have the different outputs that can be used as inputs for other systems and so on. So we have a summation y of n equals x1 of n plus x2 of n. This is the summation, as you know, see, uh, this is the pointwise addition of signals x of n uh, as, as n in the point with x of 2. They are summed to have output y of n. Also, we have multiplication. It is also y of n equals x1 of n multiplied by x2 of n. And you see we have a multiplication uh, symbol here. And we have x1 of n multiplied by x2 of n. This is we have the output. So this we call pointwise multiplication of signals. Uh, also we have a delay. This is also uh, one of the signal uh, manipulations. As you see, the simply here we are making a delay for our signals by n node or n zero this is the y this is the symbol that we use to represent this delay we have type shift of sequence if we have x of n it can be shifted to the right or the left as you see for a negative it means there we have a shift to the right and if it was a positive we have shift to the to the left as you know and as you studied before uh, also, we have what we call shift and time reversal, which means, as you see, we multiply our variable by minus, so it is negative, it is reversed, and delayed at the same time. So we have shift and we have time reversal at the same time. We have two operations here, and uh, this is the basic operation in convolution, as uh, this is x of n and this is x of 7 minus n. This is our x of n. It is reversed, as you see and shift it to the right by by seven this is what we call shift and time reversal uh, signal decomposition is an arbitrary uh, and uh, an arbitrary signal may always be decomposed into summation of weighted and delayed unit samples in this case we uh, said that we can use uh, for example, as you see, x of n is the is the composition of x of zero multiplied by delta function. Delta function is a discrete time one of the basic discrete time signals multiplied by x of zero, which means that we have a fixed point at zero point with area area equals one for delta function. Also, as you see here, we have multiplication and uh, shifting. This is x of 0 multiplied by delta function, and we have x of 1 multiplied by delta function shift to the right by 1. So an arbitrary signal may always be decomposed into summation of weighted and delayed samples means we have in the, the, the previous slide, we have uh, uh, multiplication and weighted, and after that, we have a delay. So it is a summation, as you see, this is a summation of multiplied, sorry, it is the summation of multiplied and a delay. We have here multiplication, we have delay, 
and the composition because there is a summation between these two operations uh, also as you see here we have one two three summation of three uh, three operations multiplication multiplication and delay by one multiplication and delay uh, to the right by two and in general in general we have x of n is summation of k minus infinity to infinity x of k delta function n minus k this is in general and it is uh, can be used for any delay k and for uh, any uh, weighted x of n the discrete time systems as we said before transform one sequence the input into another the output if we have a system as transformer as you see this is our system we have x of n as input we have output y of n so the y of n is the transformation of x of n the transformation sorry of the input to have our output generally we would like to be able to take a given system and evaluate the response to a given input or to determine the input that will yield a desired response design a system to have given input output characteristics uh, this means that maybe we can have the input and the output in this case we can study the, char the characteristics of the system or itself or the response of the system also maybe we have the response and we have the input and we can find the output and so on but for the design system we have to know the relation between the output and the input characteristics in this case if we have this relation it will be very easy to design a digital system as we will discuss uh, later uh, thank you very much for listening this is this was our first lecture uh, and uh, uh, see you in the second lecture